Hello and welcome friends! We're back for a, a KSP mod overview and today we're taking a look at Gravity Turn which I feel like it's starting to become somewhat popular. I've started to see it used more in other YouTube videos and it seems to be a pretty popular one because I think it takes a lot of efficiency into account here and so I thought the best way to showcase this was to speed up a couple of videos. This is a standard launch. I uh, decided to go ahead and launch my kind of favorite launch vehicle which is a Falcon 9 that I created here which is a pretty nice, very, very stable, because I'm realizing now as, I, as I'm doing a, the voiceover for this that uh, I didn't actually turn on SAS, so a very stable launch vehicle without really even needing SAS, apparently, to keep it on track, which is very nice. Uh, and, and so um, this is just me doing it, so I'm actually at the controls, and I'm controlling this thing, and I finally realized SAS was necessary. So I'm going to see what I can get into orbit, see how much Delta V and... Um, you know, what? how long is it going to take me to get this thing into orbit? And, and Gravity Turn, if you're not familiar with the mod, is all about, like, putting something up efficiently. I think it's a very good mod if you're interested in sending a lot of things up. Or maybe, maybe you're on a very tight uh, Delta V budget. So if, I wouldn't recommend this for a new player because I think it's good to learn the mechanics of doing a Gravity Turn. And, and I'll be honest, it's probably not something, as much as I think it is a cool thing to do, it's probably not something I would do unless I was really just kind of pumping out um you know <laughs> like i was just sending things constantly into orbit or somewhere else because i like to do the launches myself and so to get that full orbit here um i went ahead and had to use uh fire that second stage up so we fired that engine and to get that thing into a nice stable orbit so again this is all at times two speed by the way um this second attempt is with gravity turn enabled and so we're going to go ahead and click that and uh, you can see there, it's it's interesting. It will use, it'll make a guess, basically. It says improve guess. And I almost feel like, and I'm not sure of the programming. Uh, I'm not a programmer, but it seems to learn based on, you know, doing similar launches. So if you fire this thing up, you know, multiple times, which I did, it seems to kind of learn based on the previous attempt to improve the launch, improve that gravity turn, um, improve your launch parameters. And it also, you notice there at the beginning too, it said save or use best previous best launch and so which seems to be all about delta v budget using the least amount of delta v to get into orbit and so I, i'm running this at times too but i think i think it's even more than that because if you notice i had um physical time warp going as well times four the launches do in some ways take a little bit longer because you don't actually reach quote unquote space which is like that seventy thousand meter mark and so because of that you have to use physical time warp to kind of advance it so it does take a little bit longer which is strange but it does it i think a little bit more efficiently and what you'll notice now because it's trying to maintain that eighty thousand meter mark as i deploy fairings majestically and so what you can kind of see now because it's still running I'm, i've been totally hands off this whole time just moving the camera around has been the only thing i've done but to, to maintain that eighty thousand meter mark what it's doing is it's pulsing those first stage engines occasionally to just to maintain that because the you know the drag of being going through the air and so it likes to pulse those engines just a couple times to keep it there so gravity turn will not complete your orbital insertion you will actually have to do it yourself uh, so it's not fully automated which i kind of like and you can see it has a very cool flight map to kind of project uh, your ascent and your launch and so we're going ahead and doing that and uh, we're almost into orbit here and i think it's definitely going to be more efficient because we're about to get this falcon 9 with this uh, payload into orbit completely on the first stage so if you don't count a fairing deployment um single stage to orbit which is pretty incredible because uh, it, it did take me that second stage to kind of get fixed there and really this i'm just kind of playing around here kind of getting it into a more um stable orbits pushing it a little bit there so i'm just kind of playing around here but as you can see it's a pretty you do a lot of launches and so you just kind of want to have a automated system for doing that and so this is a pretty good way to do that and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for mods, let me know in the comments below. Or just if you want to say hey, always welcome as well. And if you'd like, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. But uh, I will see you next time. Enjoy.